Will Imani Bates become another of the long line of potential great hoops stars to ingloriously fade away? From New York to SF, scores of notable young talent never met its potentials. Not able to get into college, not developing as a talent and missing the NBA, having non-sports issues disrupt their path to fame and fortune. Although the goal, there is no golden ticket to sports glory nor the pros. Tristan Freeman of BussingBrackets.com has a great story on Bates. Subscribe, like, grow the channel. Listed for years as the next great player his hype grew over time. Bates, a 6'9 small forward from Ypsilanti, Michigan, was considered one of the top high school basketball prospects for the past few years. He was ranked number one in the 2022 class throughout his high school career, before reclassifying into the 2021 class last summer and finishing with the number three ranking. He originally committed to Michigan State in the summer of 2020 before reopening his recruitment in April 2021. For most of high school, Bates was widely expected to skip college and opt to play professionally. But he went through legitimate recruitment last spring and summer, and ultimately committed to Memphis in late August. He joined the U of Memphis last year as one of the most heralded players in recent memory. After a middling season, compounded by injury, Bates entered this season's transfer portal, 2022. His history followed him and although the list initially grew, so far no takers. Of his final six list, four, Ark, DePaul, Umich, Seton Hall, have since finished recruiting. Only Eastern Michigan and Louisville have openings still available. MSU and Illinois have been random mentions, without substance. Last week there were reports Memphis slash Bates were back in dialogue. A possible return to the Tigers. Memphis has since added to two wing slash FWDS. To be clear, I don't have inside knowledge as to what the Bates camp is doing and probably they don't either, considering how long this has taken. But based on the few conversations I've had and reading others' works, I've created a new final three list of teams for him. Tristan Freeman slash Busting Brackets Eastern Michigan, Louisville, Memphis Eastern Michigan lets him come back home and have a chance to star on a team and produce big numbers to get his confidence back. Louisville gives Bates a fresh start somewhere else with a big role in the ACC. Memphis gives him some continuity and a better roster that should help his development. Of course, there could be a mystery team that suddenly comes into the fold and make a different offer to Bates. My, no inside info, prediction for Amani Bates is that he ends up at Louisville. Add overtime elite, NBA G League, and the Aussie NBL as his other options if the Bates camp is not inclined to change, receive constructive coaching, or work on his game weaknesses. One thing is for certain is that regardless of how good Amani Bates actually is, he remains an interesting boom or bust storyline for NCAA basketball fans, and what he does next will make news. This late in the transfer game, we only need to know what move Amani will make. Home to dad in Eastern Michigan U. Jeff Borzello ESPN slash 29 June 2022 reports that Amani Bates has committed to Eastern Michigan and coach Stan Heath. He will be the premier player in the MAC, Eastern Michigan's team that hasn't reached the NCAA since 1998. Eastern Michigan went 10-21 overall last season, 5-15 in the MAC.